Back to the old grind. Happy Monday and welcome to the month of July. It is July 1st today. Technically, well, I guess if we're doing the year based on months, we are officially halfway through 2024. But if we're doing days, because it's a leap year, July 3rd is the correct halfway mark of the year. So, and, well, yeah, close enough. We're essentially halfway through the year. Although I will bring it up to, oh, I know I will bring it to the attention of everybody on, um, uh, third, on a Wednesday. So, um, I had a phenomenal day yesterday. In fact, my only, well, here's the thing. My, um, well, actually a really busy day. My low is, there was somewhere I went to yesterday up at the lake, which, interestingly enough, was a wedding expo. Don't get me wrong. The, I mean, it was a very nice wedding expo. I mean, there was a lot of, um, a lot of really cool vendors, um, saw a lot of really cool stuff in terms of what you see at a wedding. But I was there to see, you know, but I was there to see a friend of mine who was supposed to be working there and she wasn't there. So, that was... I was kind of, that kind of made me feel a little bit disappointed. Then later I saw Claudia Hoyes with the sweats, that's another part of my high. So, the, I mean, the overall wedding expo did look awesome, that's part of my high. Another part of my high is I went to the sweats to see Claudia Hoyes And I couldn't stay for the entire concert because, I mean, I had to get back to my folks place up at the lake because I hadn't, hadn't eaten dinner yet. So, I mean, here's the thing. I really want to be able to do the Call It Out dance that Claudia Hoiser does. Because that's the song Call It Out that she does. I mean, here's the thing. Last time she performed at the Sweats, we were able to do that song. But this time looked a lot more crowded. So, maybe she didn't do it? I don't know. I think it depends on the venue. So, that happened. And I wasn't able to spend it. But, you know, again, my high was going to the Swiss Sea Fly Hoys or going to the White Expo. I didn't see my family yesterday. Um, funny enough, we celebrated my brother's birthday. Even though his birthday was technically in April. See, here's the thing. When we celebrated his actual birthday, that was sadly when my grandmother died. And, you know, it set us up. It's a nice, quiet get together. We had, like, the entire family together because they were in town. So my brother really couldn't have the dinner that he wanted. Which coincidentally involves a mom food that I have yet to talk about. And I do want to talk about it. It's just I'm kind of saving that for, for a lot later. Because this one's a special one. Like a really special one. In fact, that's actually what I thought about talking about yesterday. But then I realized, wait, I gotta talk about the month of June in retrospective. Which I did. So, very busy day, and um, 4th of July is only a few days away. I'm excited. It's cloudy today, but it looks like it's warm. I don't, from what I saw, I didn't really see much of a chance of rain, which is a good thing. And um, I suppose the only thing we can do now is get to this week's One Piece Mono chapter, which sadly we have a break next week, so... Yeah, not looking forward to that, but I am looking forward to reading this. One Piece, Chapter 1119, Emmet, spelled E-M-E-T, which, pay attention to where, which, pay attention to how that word is spelled, because there's several ways you can spell that word, and believe it or not, while... The meaning is the same. The, the meaning is the same, but different each way you spell it. I'll explain later. Okay. Ooh, looks like Stu Stussy let uh, cock you out of the bubble. Hmm. 
Oh, that's hard. Every once in a while, Ichiro Oda will draw a scene where, like, it hits really emotionally. And I love this conversation Kaku says. He's like, Susie, just go. After what you did, we're not friends. The least I can even refer to you as is a cold-blooded colleague that I do respect. But, if, but once Luchi gets here, I will not be able to stop him. And he's like holding back tears as he's saying this. Like, in the, like you know those movies where like the kid lets go of the dog? And then like, just go. Like, that's what this scene reminds me of. Oh, dude. Yay, Luffy and Bonnie. Okay, here we go. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. The Giants are all celebrating that Nick is here, even though Luffy has no idea what that is. Mars is about to attack, all right. Uh -huh. Luffy's explaining why you can't, that you can't hurt these guys. Oh, uh, I know what both these guys do. Because you can't hurt these guys, but you can send them far away, which is what they're trying to do. Huh. <laughs> So Luffy's plan is he's going to get into, um, activate the gum gum balloon, grab Marcus and Mars, hold him in place, and then everyone's going to attack Luffy from behind. Classic Luffy logic. Okay. Sanji and Frank are about to do it. Bonnie's like, wait, you want me to do it? Oh no, the Giants had to fix their ship. Their sails are burned. Luffy's got him. Hmm. I'm watching this right now and it probably thinks that a lot of people, a lot of people are going to think that Frankie has hockey from this one panel, but he's not confirmed to be a hockey user yet. I think it's only, I think by the end of this series, all the Straw Hats are going to be confirmed hockey users. Just not here. But maybe. Although, Bonnie could use a devil fruit to project, to project the future where they all are using hockey. That is possible. Frankie and Sanji is telling Bonnie it's okay, and Bonnie's like, What's wrong with you people? That's funny, okay. And the diamond balloon worked. Awesome. Alright. Thanks, let me go back to panel two. Okay. I was trying to see if I can see Sanji and Frankie in this panel right here, and yeah, I can see them. They're really small, but okay. Um, okay. Okay. Mars flew away. Atlas and AC. Atlas and Lilith are talking, and George is still monitoring, monitoring them. Holy cow, the transmission is still going on. The Den Den Mushi inside the Iron Giant's working. Holy cow. Hey. Whole Cake Island. It's the return of Charlotte Cat Curry. Oh, dude, okay. For those of you who don't know, I was actually, whole, the Whole Cake Island arc was actually going on when I started doing my videos. 
and we were smack dab in the middle of Luffy versus Katakuri. Curry. Katakuri Curry is hands down one of the greatest One Piece antagonists. Not villain, antagonists. There is a difference. And I'll probably explain it at the end of the, at the end of the uh oh I would explain it, but I highly recommend you watch Liam of the Grand Line Review. He can explain why better than I ever could. Matches still going on. Oh, It's Gaimon! Oh, dude, I love Gaimon. For those of you who don't know, Gaimon is a guy trapped in a chest. His, like, arms pop out. Kind of like in the position I'm in, only there's like a, like a box around him. And hey, he's with his girlfriend, Sarfunkel. Get it? Gaimon, Sarfunkel. It's a play on Simon and Garfunkel. They're very cute together. Okay, um, let's see. Mm hmm It looks like Shepard's released all the, uh, CP0 agents that he swallowed up. And it looks like he's going after the Giants next. Luffy punches him, we go. And Top Man Workery is about to attack. He's the one that looks like a giant boar. No way. Oh, no way. Okay, so the paint, I can't obviously show this because it's copyright, but the job, but Warp is about to attack the ship. Bonnie's out of commission because she can't keep that form too long. Things are looking grim. Boar is like inches away from attacking the giant ship. And then someone is speaking. As in a flashback, but in the present tense. Joy Boy. Remember, Emmett. Only when the time is right. Time is right? And then the giant robot attacked Top Man Workery. And it broke off one of his tusks? Could the giant be the key to knocking out these guys? And Luffy has the starry eyes and he sees anything cool. So it appears that the giant robot's name is Emmett. I thought so. That the title of the chapter is Emmett. And you know what? That's interesting. I said before I started reading the chapter that depending on how the word Emmett is spelled, the meaning is sort of the same, but it's different. See, Emmett just spelled as it is. E-M-E-T, or E-M-E-T-T, -T, is, just means truth, which makes sense. The truth is being revealed to the world via Dr. Vegapunk's message. If Emmett is spelled with two M's, as in E-M-M-E-T, or E-M-M-E-T-T, -T, it means truth from beginning to end. If the word, however, is spelled M-F, as in E-M-E-T-H, it means a very firm truth. Like the kind of truth that will never take your personality into question. And it certainly will not take no for answer. So, I mean, ever since, particularly gear, the release of Gear 5th, Always been drawing on a lot of religious symbolism. I mean, Luffy, be, uh, Luffy in Gear Fifth is essentially reminiscent of like um, Song Wukong in Japanese lore. The Bajrang Gun is Hindu. The Bajrang Gun is Hindu. The, the attack that Luffy used on Kaido. And this giant robot, particularly the fact that its name is Emmett, is actually drawing on uh, Judaism. I believe the story about the giant golem. And I know that the five others 
even though they're not confirmed double free users yet, are definitely reminiscent of the yokai. With the exception of uh, Shepherd Jew Peter the Sandworm. That's in reference to Dune. So, yeah. And you know what, I'm glad that Oda is drawing from like several different forms of, of religious symbolism. Because if you just stuck with one kind of religion, it would actually kind of, not boring, but we would know where the story is going from here, in a way. Here, Oda is mixing it up in a way that's smart. And I like that. I like that a lot, even. So, yeah. I, my one regret right now is, again, there's another break. Oda likes to have these breaks right when, um, right when the giant robot does something awesome. Or the giant robot just appears. But, at least in this case, it was really cool. And hey, again, the robot was able to break one of the top man workers' tusks. If that tusk isn't able to regenerate or grow back, I think we may finally have a way to take these guys out. Oh, hopefully. But we'll have to wait two weeks in order to find out. I hope you all like this video. If you like to subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow me on social media. As always, I'm very home in this video. For all of you guys who watch and enjoy today, hopefully you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Monday. And remember, if any of you guys want to talk to channel, let's be here to land over the back. Take care and make good choices. 607 all day, baby.